Welcome to Sparks of History, where world history and Jewish history meet. Today, we are very pleased to have with us award-winning historian, Philip Mansell. Mr. Mansell is co-founder of the Society for Court Studies. He is a fellow of the Royal Historical Society, the Royal Society of Literature, and the Institute of Historical Research. Mr. Mansell is the author of numerous books, including The Court of France, 1789, 1830, Sultans in Splendor, The Last Years of the Ottoman, World Constantinople, City of the World's Desire, Paris Between the Empires, 1814-1854, Aleppo, The Rise and Fall of Syria's Great Merchant Cities, and I can go on and on, um, but today we will be focusing on um, Mr. Mansell's deeply researched, highly nuanced a scholarly and great read, King of the World, The Life of Louis XIV, which I purchased directly from Amazon and just go on to Amazon. It's, it's a great and worthwhile purchase. Um, let's just perhaps start a little bit about your background and how you became interested in Louis the um, the Fourteenth. Yes, well, I've always been really quite obsessed with French history and how France had a huge impact on Europe and the world. I read French history at Oxford. I studied in, I've lived in Paris. I studied there. I did a doctorate on the French court. In a way, the court is the sort of great French institution like Parliament for England or the army for Prussia. With the court was the center of French life and no one had a grander or more famous court than Louis XIV, who built Versailles and really made it a world hub, if not the world hub. So I was fascinated by French history and the records of French history, the quality of the memoirs, the letters, the diaries that all the participants wrote. I mean, they were doing terrible things in the day, then they would run up to their attics in Versailles and write about them in the evening. And this goes down to General de Gaulle, who wrote famous memoirs, uh, among the best political memoirs of the 20th century. So you have this record commenting on the acts. Of course, it's never an accurate record of the acts. And that also fascinated me. France and the world and events and the written word. 